In this video, we are going to discuss object oriented concepts. UML can be described as a successor of object oriented analysis and object oriented design. UML is powerful enough to represent all the concepts that exist in object oriented analysis and design. So, whenever we are going to develop one software in some object oriented programming language, then at first we are going through the phase known as the object oriented analysis. And in this object oriented analysis, we shall gather all the required information and requirements from the clients and from the stakeholders. And then we shall draw some respective EML diagrams to represent them in a certain modular view and in certain model. And then we shall go for the object oriented design. And in case of object oriented design, we shall do the implementation of those models in the respective in the respective diagrams and later we are going for object oriented implementation where we will be implementing the same using object oriented programming language. So following are the some fundamental concepts of object oriented world. So first one is the objects. So objects represent an entity and the basic building block. So whatever we are going to do is for the objects. So what are the states and how the states will get changed transitions will take uh, will take place from one state to another state for an object and how these objects are getting related in between between each other what are the different kinds of relationships between the objects so we are dealing with these objects throughout our object oriented analysis and design class is the blueprint of an object so similar type of objects will have one blueprint and that is known as a class so abstraction represents the behavior of a real world entity. We cannot consider all the behaviors of one entity. We shall consider those behaviors for which we are interested. Encapsulation is the mechanism of building or binding the data together and hiding them from the outside world. So in case of encapsulation, it is nothing but one mechanism for binding the data together and we shall hide, we shall keep that data hidden from the external world for the security reasons. So inheritance, inheritance is the mechanism of making new classes from the existing one. That means that is actually enhancing reusability, the property is known as reusability. Once which, which has been designed, defined, we can reuse that one to define the other new entities. Polymorphism, it defines the mechanism to exist in different form. So one thing in different form, in different representation in different form will be known as a, having the property known as polymorphism. So potential benefits of object oriented concepts. So what are the advantages and benefits? So managed complexity, improved quality, increased reusability, we have just discussed this one, increased extensibility one particular model which whatever we have defined and designed later we can add some extra functionalities to that model and we can go for further extensions and then financial benefits increased chance of project success and then reduced maintenance burden and if you have the UML with us in case of object oriented implementation prior to that object oriented analysis then object oriented design then object oriented implementation then obviously the maintenance will be too much easier for us and it will be less expensive. Reduce application backlog. So these are the advantages and benefits of object oriented design concepts. So what are the drawbacks? So requires greater concentration on requirements analysis and design. So all the requirements which are there with the client with the stakeholders they are to be accumulated very sincerely no requirement should be missed out. So all the requirements should be gathered and then we shall go for the implementation accordingly. Developers must work closely with our users. So that means users should be constantly in touch of the development process so that user can also share his or her views when the development will be in process in progress. It requires a complete change in the mindset of the part of the individuals provide only long time benefits. If we design one system using object oriented concepts, 
then in future for further extensibility of that particular design for the further betterment and adding some new features that will be a that will be the added points that is the added feature advantages if we design this system right now in our object oriented technology so provide only long time benefits so demands upfront investments in training and tools so obviously our manpower will be working in this particular system design system analysis the system implementation they must have the proper training on this object oriented technology and concept insists more on testing and the last one is still the success is greatly depending on people involved so obviously how the system is getting judged how the system has got analyzed and whether there is any flaw in the analysis or not obviously that will matter at the end when the system is going to get implemented so we are having different uh, advantages and drawbacks of this object oriented programming and concepts but obviously we are very much interested to work in the object oriented environment for the better utilization of our resources and reusability of our resources and extension of our systems can be done very easily if we design the system in our object oriented concepts thanks for watching this video